Hello, we are going to do science, and so I hope Leon and Micaiah and Braylon and Gage are ready to do some science. We have our weather book, and so it is time to go outside. So I have to gather all of this stuff that I'm recording with and see if I can get the door open. And let me see, I've got a microphone. I have to carry the microphone and the computer. All right, and so we are on the move. So now we are gonna go outside and we are going to check our weather. So climate is what happens over a year's period. It happens every year, it's the same. Weather is daily. Today feels warm. It's not really hot yet, but it's not cool and it's not mild. I would say it's warm and the sun is shining. So I'm gonna come back inside close the door so on my little flippy flop I am going to say today is whoo sliding quickly let me see warm there it is it is warm so put your little today's weather feels warm and open it up and we talked about storms so we're talking about storms. We have a lot of storms in the spring. We learned, we, one thing we did learn about storm is it comes from sudden change. What do you think the sudden change is? In the spring, what happens in Texas? You get up one morning, it's 40 degrees, you need a jacket. You go later on that day, it's hot, it's up to 80. You get up the next morning, it's rainy, it's 60. The temperature is changing a lot. So when cold and hot air meet, it does not meet smoothly. There's a little war, a little fight, a little argument going on, and that can cause a storm. <clears throat> so we also looked at rain yesterday. We learned that uh, heat from the earth and the sun makes water evaporate and rise like a mist that we don't really see. It goes up to the clouds. As it goes up, it cools off. And as it cools off, it starts gathering into little droplets again, and that forms a cloud. And when it gets heavy enough, it will fall. So uh, warm air goes up, changes to cool air, <coughs> and it forms water droplets, and then it drops. That's just a simple explanation of rain. And then we talked about thunderstorms yesterday. So we're going to review thunderstorms today. And in your little book, open it up. So this glue should have dried. So you're going to open this one up and fold it. And it has thunderstorms. And if you can see, I've written in there. But I know you can't see what I've written. But you can see I wrote. So it's a small space. So you're going to have to write teeny tiny. And some of you write really big. And some of you already write teeny tiny. So you teeny tiny writers will be fine. But if you're a big writer, you'll just have to work it down. This is what we're going to review about thunderstorms. It's a heavy, heavy rain shower. Okay. This E-A is not saying E in leaf. It's saying E. It's a, a sight word. Heavy, E-M baby, heavy rain shower. Owl in owl. Shower. So I want you to write that on there, and also I want you to put a dot, because this is how we list things that are in the uh, thunderstorm. There is lightning, and there is thunder. So I am going to hold this right here, and you are going to write it. Let me show you again. You're going to write it. You're going to fold up the one that says storms, fold it up, and you're going to write all of that information on thunderstorm. Okay, so you've got to write very small. And you're big kids now, so you can write small. So, mamas, pause the video if you need to. Let your student write that themselves. Heavy rain shower, lightning, and thunder. That is what a thunderstorm has. And we have a lot of those in the spring. So, pause your video if you need to finish writing that. And today, we're going to talk about another kind of storm. So, what is the next storm on our list? Hurricane. U R says er hurricane. We're gonna talk about a hurricane. Do you know where hurricanes happen? Hurricanes happen over the ocean and they come inland. 
All right, this is an overhead picture of what a hurricane looks like. Let me back it up just a little bit. When they are flying planes above the ocean, that is what a hurricane looks like. What does that look like to you? A spiral? Yes. And if you look right there in the middle, that is called the eye of the hurricane. And we're going to find out what happens in the eye of a hurricane. Do you think that's the worst point of the storm? Let's find out. It says hurricanes are the deadliest storms in the world. What does that mean, deadliest? means they kill more people than any other kind of storm. They kill more people than all other storms combined. That means more than tornadoes, hailstorms, snowstorms, rainstorms, any other kind of storms. Put all of those together and they're not as deadly as a hurricane. Hurricanes stretch for hundreds of miles. They have a wind of between 74 and 200 miles per hour. The eye of a hurricane is the quick, the quiet center of the storm. Let me read that again. The eye of the hurricane is the quiet center of the storm. Inside the eye of the storm, the wind stops blowing. The sun is shining, but beware. Wait a minute. And the sky is blue, but beware. The storm is not over yet. So what happens is this moves in this motion and it's moving across the water and then it comes up on the beach, on the land, and it's still moving in that circular pattern. And so the first uh, spiral will hit the land and it'll keep moving across. And then the eye of the storm is behind that. And so people will have all these severe winds, severe rain, terrible conditions, and then There'll be sunshine, and it about lasts for an hour. It might last for 30 minutes. Depends on the storm. And it'll just be like clear blue skies and sunshine, but they know the back of the storm. So the front of the storm moves across, then the eye, and then the back of the storm is going to come across. So they get a little bit of reprieve in the middle, and then it hits again. So uh, if you notice, it said it moves from 74 to 200 miles an hour. Well, when we learn about uh, tornadoes, their winds move even faster. So how can this storm be deadlier than a tornado? Well, a tornado happens very quickly. It does not last very long at all. But this storm is a big, huge storm that moves slowly. Get the picture there. Slowly across the land. Usually when it hits land, it begins to slow down. And it will continue to slow down as it goes across land. But if it's a really bad one, it takes a while for that to happen. Hurricanes are born over warm ocean waters from early summer to mid-fall. When they finally reach land, their pounding waves wash away beaches, boats, houses. Their howling winds bend and uproot trees and telephone poles. Their heavy rains cause floods. If you can look at that picture closely... Look at what's happening. It is rain pouring with wind. So it's very gusty and very rainy. And this is afterwards. This is what happens afterwards. Or this is what is left afterwards. It happened during the storm, but it left afterwards. It says, in August 1992, Hurricane Andrew, they give them names, Smash into Florida and Louisiana. Over 200,000 people were left homeless. It destroyed their homes. 200,000 people. In the Pacific Ocean, hurricanes are called typhoons. In April of 1991, a typhoon hit the country of Bangladesh. Over a million homes were damaged or destroyed. One million. More than 130,000 people died in that typhoon. All right, so it's most dangerous to cities who are on the coastlines. It's not as dangerous for cities who are up away from the coastline, but usually you will get, when the winds start slowing down, instead of calling it a hurricane, it becomes a tropical storm. And those winds are a little bit slower, and usually those will circle over the land, and sometimes they spawn tornadoes. So uh, usually the most damaged areas are along the coast or the beaches, whatever cities are close to that. The next thing we're going to get into is a snowstorm. So since our, uh, our little thing is dry, we're going to write down what is a hurricane. 
So let me uh, get the book out and I'll write it on the board. Give me just a minute. Got to turn back to it. All right, here we go. So I'm going to write it in a different color pen so you can see it. I'm going to put dead Deadliest, deadliest storm. That's the first thing I'm going to write down in my book on my purple piece of paper. Deadliest storm. Okay. It is miles wide. It is miles wide. Just pause your video if you need to to write all this down. Starts over ocean. So we're not writing like we're talking. We're just taking notes. So we're just putting the important facts down. It's the deadliest storm. It's miles wide. And it starts over the ocean. Okay, so write that down. Alright, so that's two kind of storms that we have on earth. Thunderstorms, hurricanes. So when you get that written, we're going to do a small experiment. I don't even know if we can call this an experiment, but it is really fun. So what you need is a bowl of water, if you have a clear bowl or a white bowl, that will be best. Okay, and you need a big spoon. It needs to be the biggest, one of the biggest spoons that you have. It does not need to be a little spoon. All right, so I'm going to try to get this where you can see it. Let's see. It's really hard to do with this camera like this. Maybe if I just do it like this. I'm going to get this stirred really fast, and then I'm going to stir in the middle. Woo! I'm splashing it. So start on the edges and then go to the middle. All right, and then it'll start swirling. So the other thing you need is blue food color. Okay, that represents water. Okay, so what we're going to do, oh, I wish I had a way to get this where you could see it. I could sit it right there. Maybe I can't be a problem solver. Now, can you see that? All right, so what I want you to do is get it stirring. Then I want you to drop about three drops of blue in there. So I'm gonna get it stirring and I'm gonna go in the middle. Really fast, lift my spoon out. One, two, three. And then just let it go. And as you can see, the hurricane spreads out around and it just is a spiral storm like that. And as you watch the blue food coloring travel through the water, that's how the storm is traveling and that's how the winds are also moving on the land above the water. So the water is, is churning and the winds are churning. Okay, so that was just a really quick experiment. And I'm just going to stir mine again. <laughs> All my blue is stirred up now. All right, so you can do that as many times as you want to see what a hurricane looks like in a bowl. And that is all that we have for today. Um, so just clean up your mess. And I hope that your rain experiment turned out. I've heard from one student that they were waiting on their rain to fall. And so I'm sure that it fell. Uh, I know that mine continued to fall yesterday till I cleaned it up. And it just the heat just kept making the water mist up the evaporation was happening and it was collecting on the cool lid and falling back down. So I hope yours turned out successful as well and I will see you tomorrow.